a really important thing. Uh, I try to bring, like, always give 100% in every shift, always do my best to, to help the team win. And I'm just a, a good two-way defenseman, can play in every zone. Thank you. Our next question is from Brad Galley with WXYZ. William, congratulations. Uh, in your lifetime, I'm sure you don't have too many memories of the Red Wings being very successful, but I'm curious, uh, Nicholas Lidstrom, Nicholas Cronwall, so many Swedish-born players that played for the Red Wings. How much are you aware of the success that Swedish-born players have had with the Red Wings? Uh, I know about them. Uh, I watched uh, Krumal a lot when I was younger. Uh, I, loved, I loved his hits. And uh, everyone, everyone know who, who leads them is. He's, he's the best Swedish defenseman who ever, ever played. So I know, I know about them. What would it mean now? Uh, what does it mean to, to hear your name drafted by a Red Wings team that, that has had such a lineage of Swedish born defensemen? Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, it's proud to be a part of this uh, amazing organization. Uh, and I know they had really good Swedish players, so that's that's good to know, and uh, I think that will help a lot. Congrats, man. Thank you. Our next question is from Ansar Khan with MLive. Uh, hi, William. Uh, what areas of your game are you looking to uh, improve on? here to work on the most the next couple of years before uh, reaching the NHL? Um, I'm working a lot uh, on my uh, yeah, positioning in the D zone. Uh, I have improved it a lot and uh, I'm just trying to get better at, at all things. Uh, I think that that's important. You have to be good at everything. Our next question is from Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, William, how you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Hey, uh, they were sent on the broadcast. Did you, um, did you, were you a soccer player and you picked up hockey later in, in your life? Can you tell us kind of the story of how you got into hockey? Um, I started to play hockey at the same age as when I started to play soccer, uh, but uh, I just fell in love with uh, hockey. My older brother played and uh, used to bring me to the rink. So I just love to be on the ice. And uh, uh, I think that's why. Yeah, for sure. And then kind of what, what was your summer like this last off season? Obviously kind of weird conditions to, to be in the gym and on the ice, but what, what was your summer like? Uh, it was pretty good during these circumstances. Uh, I got to, I had a nice gym to go to, so I worked out every day. Uh, so I got in shape to the season and uh, on my off time, I like played golf a lot. Uh, so that's what I did this summer. Thank you. Thank you. My next question is from Ted Colfin with the Detroit News. Hey, Lloyd, congratulations. Uh, just wondering, how tough was it the yesterday and today just sitting there and waiting to be selected by a team? Was it getting a little, little antsy, a little nervous? Yeah, of course I was nervous, but uh, I was not too upset. Uh, mm -hmm. I know it doesn't matter if you go in the first round or second round. Uh, there's a lot of good players, and uh, uh, the only thing that matters is uh, what you do after the draft. Like, still keep working hard and uh, going for it. Uh, you can't just stop working because you didn't go in the first round. So, it really doesn't matter. It just feels good to be, be a player of the Detroit Red Wings now. William, did you have a lot of contact with the Red Wings during this whole process? Yeah, I, I talked to them uh, pretty much. So, 
I could see it coming, and it feels really good. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. All right, and we'll do one more question from, for William from Jason Lewis with WJRT. Hey, William. Uh, follow up to that. Um, you've been in contact with him a lot. I know Nicholas Cronwell is over there. Have you met him and have you talked to him? What has he kind of told you and, and what has he been most impressed with from what he said to you on your game? Uh, I think my skating, that's what most people like recognize about me. I think that's, that's it. And then do you know Lucas Raymond? You know you both being from Sweden? Uh, I've been at uh, a national camp with him, but don't know him that good yet. All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. That's all the time we have with William. We'll be in touch uh, after we're able to connect for future media availabilities. And William, uh, congratulations again. And thanks for doing this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, William.